Welcome back, everybody, to The Wolf Among Us. We're gonna do episode 5 this time, because episode 4 was kind of slow, and, uh, we met the, the crooked man. I don't know what to expect other than, yo, now we're gonna confront the crooked man. Also, we're gonna get a little bit of a recap, so, you know, I don't need to explain what happened in the last part. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Well, there you go! Recap! I guess we're gonna go straight into episode 5. No, no... Little, uh prologue to it or anything just straight up got the uh, uh title sequence yeah title sequence man i hear that this is the last chapter episode chapter episode i i, I guess this is where it's all gonna conclude i don't know I, i'm used to the walking dead you know that was like six episode so it's like this is the last episode well then I guess we're gonna get the exciting conclusion to all of this I'm kind of sad episode 5 cry wolf you've come a long way you must be tired And if so, uh, are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. All right, so you know, don't don't try to pull any punches. Be I got sure it. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very, it's elegant, really a carpaccio. It's lobster sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval. 
All right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. I already Wait, play know Mary. You did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It was Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Really? I have respect for you and your job, I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did? That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. What? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes. This is George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Honestly, I don't like the guy, so, so it's say, like, Sheriff, I'm fine with that. Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Well, what? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Well, this has gone really sour. Oh Jesus! You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice. Oh, this is not going to be good. All right, I gotta, I gotta do the thing with the thing. Is <laughs> that knife made of full silver or something like that? 
I guess it doesn't matter now. Okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing the thing with the thing. All right, I'm, screw you. You can go to hell. I'm, I'm done with you, man. Straight up done with you. Well, get, okay, all right, whatever, whatever. Ah, uh, that was that was intense. I know. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Think you can get away from me? Can't get away from the wolf. Oh, uh, when Big B has had enough, <laughs> he's had enough. Ugh. Jesus. Are, are we really just running right after the How far can they, how fast? Jesus Christ. I was not ready for any of this. But I'm fine with it! <laughs> this is like the manliest thing ever! Oh. With Snowstead, do I revel in turning wolf? I revel the shit out of it. This is the best thing ever. Oh, man. Oh, this gotta be them. Yeah, Bigby is a trooper! If there was any reason to have him as sheriff, it's definitely this! He just goes for it! No questions asked! Shit. Fuck! What was that? <laughs> I guess I have a one-track mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, nothing's gonna shake me off. I mean, sure, I could have gone after the crooked man. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought they were gonna run me over. Guess not. Is that my health bar at the bottom? Wait. Why is it why is it slowly taking down? Is that how is that how much I can go wolf? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Are they are they serious? Why would you go there? That was like the stupidest idea ever. You should be in like a hiding secret facility that I don't know about. Cuz there's like no way I would not go there first. Wait, is, am I just wasting time if I if I yeah, there's like, okay, all right. I got the point. Point is, we're busting this place down. Gonna kill Georgie. I probably should have gone after the, uh, the crooked man, but whatever. Thank you.